Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com so today i am going to discuss reservations reservations in india reservations in government jobs educational institutes and even elections so what is the impact of reservations is it good or is it bad so yes it is good and as well as it is bad it is badly implemented it is used i mean from a long time reservation has been actually used for political agendas why it is good students just do one thing get up early at 5:30 in the morning and just make a list of you know sweepers and the uh, people who are cleaning uh, doing the cleaning jobs in your locality in your city make a list of 100 people and i know it is actually not decent to ask their caste but ask what is your caste sir ask anybody anybody who is doing a cleaning job in the on the roads ask him his caste 100% of those people belong to sc or st categories right 100% trust me 100% then go to a posh locality and those people are having the name plates right and then note down their surnames less than 2% of the people belongs to the sc and st categories you will find patels brahmans baniyas even some sikh jans but you won't find any sc or st there so what if these people are getting jobs in the government sector do you think after getting job in the government sector people are getting rich no not at all it's a entry into a middle class and upper middle class right so is it good or it is or it is bad it is actually part of it is good but how it is actually implemented is bad in our house there is a maid who is from a general category thakur i think right and she is having six kids and she is not getting any quota but her kids are actually they are studying in a government schools and all they deserves reservation in the educational institutes i mean they don't have money and but they are trying hard they are trying their level best to get their entry into middle class so according to me it's good reservation is good actually i know it uh, it is a harsh statement but uh, right now you are struggling in your government jobs right now maybe uh, you are struggling to get admissions into the uh, some institutions that's why you are hating those people i mean right now there is a lot of hatred among the students you know people from the brahman uh, you know Well, the Brahman people they hate the Muslims. They they started hating the SCs and STs and all. Please don't have such kind of emotions in your heart. I mean, it it is actually bad. The SC STs, the people who actually needed. First of all, it it should be based upon the ec- economics. But it is actually very difficult to implement. I mean, there are fake ITRs and all. Uh, getting a proof of income it is actually difficult but what according to me what is the quick solutions what is a quick solution according to me what is a quick solution there are few students whose parents are ias and who are already in sbi and whose parents are already got the job they got the benefit there should be a creamy layer concept in the reservation as in the i think obc there is such concept but but in that sc and st there should be such step if your father is a is an ias officer you cannot take the benefit of reservation you shouldn't and you cannot see when i was uh, like 20 years old right my father didn't have that much of money right i was struggling really hard i was 
you know i was doing part time jobs and all it was very difficult to get admission into a a good institution a good government institution i i, I couldn't afford to pay for a private college i mean there were students whose parents were working in sbi whose parents were working in uh, were, were working as in uh, uh, dsps and all right they were getting the benefit of this quota i mean they were having a lot of money they were coming to the colleges in their you know suvs and i was going to the schools and colleges on my bicycle don't you don't you think i mean at that time do you think don't you think it's it's a misuse of their powers do you think it, this is a misuse misuse of the rule yes it is this is the misuse i mean if your father is an ias i mean you have everything you can go to good coaching institutes you can buy anything you can buy any study material you can you have access to everything you are going to the colleges on cars and there are people who are going to the colleges and schools on a bicycle they don't have money to buy books they don't have money to buy smartphones to watch videos on youtube there is a problem in our politics there is a big problem in our political system nobody is trying uh, no political party is actually speaking on this topic because nobody wants to you know uh, lose in the elections nobody is even trying at the moment let be aap congress or bjp nobody is trying there should be a creamy layer funda if your father is an ias I mean, last year's topper. She was in. Uh, her father was in IAS. Her mother was in IAS. Still, she she got the benefit of this reservation system. Why? I mean, why? It should not be allowed. It should not be allowed. Yes, I support reservation. Yes, I support reservation. Reservation for SCs, STs, and everybody. I support it. But. if your father is an ias if your father is a dsp or a whatever at a good position as a collector you shouldn't get this benefit so that's all what i want to say about this topic a lot of student requested me to speak about it so i spoke it please share this video with your friend and subscribe the channel like this video so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye